everybody, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com and today we're going to take a look at a, kind of a cascading country lick in the style of Albert Lee and uh, Brent Mason and um, Jerry Reed, a lot, of, a lot of famous country guys and you can use this in pretty much any kind of uh, style of playing. You get players like John Vive who use this a lot in, in metal and stuff. So let's take a look at the lick and I'm going to kind of explain it and work it out, uh, work you through it as we go. Uh, the idea here is we're going to be using some hybrid picking and we're going to be using a lot of open strings which creates that kind of cascading effect like there's a lot go more going on than really is. So this is going to be an A and uh, so let's start with here on the A on the fifth, uh, the first string and we're going to pick that with a um, our ring finger, I'm sorry, my middle finger on the on the picking hand then a downstroke on the eight on the second string. Now we're going to incorporate our first open string. We're going to have a series of th uh, three notes across the string. We're going to have the first string open, and I'm picking that with my um, ring finger there. Then my second finger is going to play the fourth fret on the second string, and then the pick is going to uh, is going to pick the third string, the the pinky at the uh, seventh fret on the third string. So those three notes are. You kind of want this to ring together, that's the whole effect. So as we hit an open string, you want to try to keep it open for the rest of the lick. So we have this of a... Alright, so now we need the second string open. So we're going to do um, the a middle finger on the second string, and then pick the third string at the fifth fret and hammer on the sixth fret. So ways of keeping this kind of stuff interesting, you throw in a lot of hammer-ons and slides that are chromatic and that will kind of really, well this takes it from a, a kind of a minor, A minor to A major, just from that C to the C sharp. So, so far we have this. So now we have the first string and the second string ringing open as we do our little lick. This is all in uh, 16th notes. Now you can follow this along, or, or we can do it in 8th notes if it's like a 2-2 two -two time. Um, I have the tablature for this at GuitarLessons365.com and the Lick of the Week series. The link will be in the description of the video. Or if you're at the site, it's right there with the video. So let's, uh, from there we got this so far. Okay, now we have the, the, the the second string open. Now we're going to pick that same B, which is this, just like the same note as the second string open, but instead of hitting it as an open string, we're going to actually pick it. That way we have two different versions of the B, two different sounding B's. They're both the same note, but they have different timbres, so it helps fill up the sound and just, like I said, keep things interesting. So we're going to pick four with your middle finger, and then seven on the fourth string with a pick. And then we're going to add our open G string with the third finger, I mean the, the, the ring finger. And then the middle finger is going to pick four on the fourth string. And then the pick is going to pick uh, the fifth string, seventh fret. So those five notes are. You see how we're kind of doing the same lick over and over again. Alright, so after that, we're going to take it an open string on the fourth string open. So now we have the open D string with your middle finger. Come back to the third fret on the fifth string and pick that and slide it up to the fourth. Once again, we're doing the, um, instead of hammering it on up here, we're going to slide it here. Just trying to keep things different every time, fill up the sound. So, so far we got. Now we have all those open strings ringing, and we're going to come over. We're going to go after we right here. We slid to this. We're going to pick the come over to the third string, pick it with your middle finger, second fret, then come and pick the four again on the fifth string, and then lift up that first finger on the third string 
and hit that string open. So it goes. We're going to use that as an opportunity. This is ringing open now to shift over and grab on the fourth string, the second fret, and then the first fret right behind it. And we're going to pick this note with the pick, pull off to one, pull off to zero. Another little chromatic line in there. Okay, and then we're going to end it with a hammer on from three to four. Like I said, just changing it up. We slid those two notes last time and then end it with like an A power chord. I'm just picking that with uh, these, the second, the, the, the middle finger and the ring finger are getting these two middle strings and then the A string is getting done with the pick. So all together. Okay, so that should hopefully give you guys some ideas of how this kind of, those kind of runs are, are created. Just get a pattern going when you're including an open string every time and then take it down the neck in different keys and um, using this as kind of like a model just and mix it up. Add some of those chromatic lines. Those chromatic lines were pretty much based taking it from major, minor to major in A, which is, gives it kind of a hybrid sound. So. Um, Anyway, get the tab for this at guitarlessons365.com and the uh, Lick of the Week Lessons Archive, and I will see you guys soon with the next lesson. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.